Hello everyone, this is Ashwin. Uh, this video is about uh, how to crack a product based interview. And again, this video is purely for pressures who want to secure their first job. So in the previous video, I have explained how to crack an interview and how to crack a placement for service based companies and what are the tips to be followed uh, to get easily done. So this video is completely about product based companies, uh, which is completely different from what I have said in the previous video. So product based companies are companies which have their own product, which work on the same product. Companies like Google, Microsoft, Uber, Ola, Facebook, these are, they have their own products, right? So that they are considered to be product based companies. So again, product based companies can be of two types. They are a basic level startups or well established MNC companies. So the difference is uh, not uh, careable because both are same. Even startups are working for their uh, own projects. Even all these MNC companies which are well established now are once a kind of startup. So what are the expectations from product based companies? Yes, they are working on their own products. So the expectations will be more when compared to service based. So as a fresher, they expect you to be good enough in programming language with idea of data structures and algorithms. They want you to be perfect in data structures and algorithms, not just a basic level. And they want, they will expect you to be familiar with designing a system. It is like they want you to have an idea of databases, how databases work, how servers work how you can communicate front end with the back end so they expect you all these kind of system knowledge but not only a basic level programming what i said in service based interviews so the expectations are more here so how to prepare for these kind of interviews one thing is in in our country mostly there is a wide gap between what is taught in the academics and what are the expectations from the industry so if you stick only with the academics uh, it is difficult for you to crack product based company so you need to be out of the box in order to crack a product based company because you need to rely on industry expectations but not the academic expectations so apart from the academic knowledge you have you need to be more focused on the industry knowledge which is trending in the now you need to understand what is trending in the external world so that is a minimum qualification uh, to get into product based companies so you should be you should be good with programming language again there are no concerns that you should be familiar with two or three programming languages having knowledge of one programming knowledge with good data structure and algorithm knowledge is enough so if they give you a problem um, by asking you to write a program immediately you are supposed to solve that by using the knowledge of data structures and algorithms that is the important thing to enter in the product based company and another thing they expect you uh, to be good with databases yes uh, because a product based engineer must concentrate about uh, designing of a system so in the sense you should be familiar with databases you should know how to connect database with your back end code and you should be you should also be good with uh, connecting that to a server so you should have the basic idea at least a basic idea of how this process goes on how your product works you should be familiar with that and for the entry level like to enter into interview they might also conduct a, uh, assessment test which, in, which includes aptitude uh, as like service based and the high level programming not just a basic questions they ask you um, a problem statement a real time problem statement and you need to come up with a solution using uh, data structures and algorithms which should adhere to the rules and regulations so data structures and algorithms I am coining this term more frequently because this is an important thing so data structures you should be familiar with language trees sorting algorithms everything and you should come up with different algorithms even you should be capable enough to write your own algorithm so that is the expectation for the product based company because they are working on their own product for that they don't want you uh, uh, want to hire people who are with uh, basic and intermediate knowledge so this is the scene when come to product based companies so so keep in mind that if you are um, if you are jailer uh, jail to crack a product based companies then be prepared yourself not only from the economic knowledge but also from the industry knowledge so i would like to summarize this video so product based companies might be a small startup or a well established company so the expectations from the product based company are high when compared to the service based companies and you should be good in 
data structures and algorithms or with one particular programming language you should have an idea of databases you should be good with how operating systems work you should you should be familiar with networks so you should be familiar with uh, how the design of the product will be so and you should be uh, well uh, well confident enough uh, in expressing your com expressing your attitude like uh, they also expect you to have some good communication skills and they also uh, looks your confidence uh, while facing an interview because uh, only when you are confident uh, you can do anything uh, as a challenge so these are the minimum expectations from a product based company so hope you like this video please like share comment and subscribe thank you